Hey everyone! Welcome, welcome, welcome. So I have a little technical difficulties, but uh, I hope everybody's having a great day today and we are going to have some fun. Um, oh, you ordered it, Brenda. Good morning, Candy. Let's see who, let's see, Candy and Brenda. Brenda ordered it. She's so, I know. I'm like, we have to do this again because it was so much fun. Um, so we're going to do it again. Um, let's see. Hello, Morella. How are you? We have Facebook and YouTube on here. So if you see me talking to people and you're like, I don't know where that is. I'm on either one. So I see both uh, comments. So we are going to get started. I am Heather and we come to you live each and every day, Monday through Friday at 930 for our wake up and makeup. And so today we talked about it yesterday, but it is so exciting. We're going to talk about it again. So we're going to talk about the new liquid mirage liquid. Thank you, Morella, for sharing. I appreciate that. Um, good morning, Patricia. Look at that little cute doggy. I want that doggy is so cute. Um, I'm looking for a, a, a doodle, any kind of doodle. If you know anybody, let me know. Um, I just want another dude. I want to, we have a dog, but he's 12 and it's a little shih tzu. And uh, I want a doodle. So, but that doggy is so cute. Good morning. Good morning, Connie. Good to see you. So each and every day we do these lives and we cover everything airbrush. I, I have to, now we have to say everybody or, or everything luminous. And that's so you can learn about airbrushing, learn about color cosmetics, learn about skincare, whatever the case may be. Questions you need to ask if you're like, Hey, you're not talking about this, but I have a question here. That's okay. We, I, I can multitask. I've had some coffee. So we can talk about whatever uh, questions you may have. Now, because we know that people do have questions about airbrushing, we always go over the basics. And I don't even like to say the basics. It's more the beginning of airbrushing, the starter kit, um, and and things like that. So we cover that each and every time. So if you know anybody out there who's interested in Luminous, but they're like, oh, I don't know, what do I do with it? How to send them here because they can get their questions answered. Um, oh my gosh, Patricia, he's 90 pounds. Woo. Oh, that was crazy. I know he looks like a little puppy, but now he's a big puppy. And he probably thinks he's a lap dog, doesn't he? Um, all right, so let's go ahead and let's let me show you the bum, ba, da, 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 one of our starter kits. Now we have this is going to be the uh, icon. We also have the legend and the um, icon pro. I was like blank, um, and they're all operated about the same. But guys, that that is true designs on that system. They are so compact, so tiny, but do an amazing job, little things, uh, great things come in little packages, as I always tell my daughter. And it comes with the two bottles of foundation and a love and a blush. Now we give you the bottles of foundation, the two large bottles of foundation, so you can practice. Think of this as your practice kit, as your starter kit, as your getting to know you kit. You want to get this out and start using it. Now blush, that's something you'll obviously use, um, and but you're only going to use like two drops at a time. The blush is super high pigmented, and so it will um, bloom on you. And then Love is a hydrating illuminator, and so it's going to give you a little bit of a, an, uh, a luminosity to the skin, not a shimmer like our Optics Highlight and Strobe or um, the Exposure Highlighters or the Luminizers but it's just going to give you that little bit of luminosity. And so, um, and I'm going to show you, even though we're doing traditional makeup, I am going to show you how to airbrush because the one thing about, um, the one thing about Luminous is a little bit goes a long way, right? So we know that we are using 10 times less makeup and let me, where's my little, where's my little thing right here? 
here we go. Um, we want you to do the following. So when you get your system, we want you to get it out. Ba, 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 ba. Do this, do this, do this. And that's practicing. When you get it out of the box, it comes put together. This is in a nice little tray, but everything's connected. And um, the only thing you have to do is plug in the power cord. When you turn it on, there is air that comes out. And sometimes that throws people. But what's great about because no product, there's not any product being released until you pull back on this trigger. Until you pull back on this guy here. Hold on. I'm going to make sure this guy's plugged in all the way. There we go. Until you pull back, nothing is being released. So doing this. Number one, it feels good. And number two, it's having you practice. So I'm doing this. I'm moving this around. I'm keeping it four finger widths away. That's going to become second nature. Your arm will go boom. I know exactly where to go, what to do, all of that. Then put water in here and then start lightly pulling back on that trigger. And those are the things that you want to practice when starting to airbrush. But get that foundation out and also start practicing pulling back on that trigger. You can even do a piece of paper to see how you're doing. Is it wet? Your face should not feel wet or sticky when airbrushing. So if it is, it's okay. But just keep it going. Keep it going. You'll you'll learn. Um, good morning, Amanda. Good to see you. Oh. Oh gosh. Yes. If you know, Bri uh, well, they're so expensive. <laughs> I'm a single mom, but yeah, email me here. I'm put this down. You can email me at beauty bar at luminous air.com or Heather at luminous air.com. Uh, let me see if I can put it right there. There. Um, yeah, I've looked at <laughs> now we're going to turn this into a dog talk topic, but, uh, yeah, I've looked at Aussie duty doodles, paradoodles, Bernie doodles, sheep doodles, golden doodles, labradoodles, <laughs> everything. So yes, email me, please, 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 please. Yay. Martin is so ready to use the new Martin. What, um, what foundation, the new one, the new one, new one, this one. Hey, Muzi, how are you? I'm so glad you're on. Thank you for jumping on. All right. So let's go ahead and get started. I am going to do a little bit of everything um, because we are going to do the um, the this new makeup that we have, which I'm so excited about. You know, I mean, if y'all can tell my voice yesterday, <laughs> I don't know what happened. Um, but yeah, this is oh candy i was like i thought that was candy um but you're now on facebook okay um this is the brush that comes with it and this is the liquid mirage guys it's amazing so we know with luminous that you're using 10 times less makeup right with airbrushing guys when i say that you're going to be using even less <laughs> It is flat out amazing. The first couple of times that I did this, I put on weight because I was doing like traditional, traditional makeup where you're like, boo, 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 and then you have to way too much. So it does have, you want to shake it up. There is the little BB in there. So you definitely want to shake it up. And then it has the little dropper. So a couple of things you can use the makeup that's on here already. Like I just rubbed that on my hand or you could actually drop it. But guys, when I, this is so like a little bit does, I'm going to take this off again. Um, a little bit goes super long way. So if I'm in my mirror, if I even take that and yesterday I did it with my, the brush. I mean, look at that. And I'm going to show you how much that will blend. I mean, come on. Now, also look. Patricia, is yours a Pyrenees? I mean, look at this, guys. <gasps> Let's just do half. 
I don't, I'm still one because I've airbrushed for so long that I don't like the makeup feel on my um, hands. So I norm, I do this. And I'm only going to do half right now. So you can see. the difference. All right, so now, now also look, guys, think about this. I don't know about you, if, I mean, if you like really give it some thought, who do you want to, who do you want to make a traditional makeup? an airbrush company because <laughs> that's what we're comparing it to we're comp airbrush is what i mean like ultimately what you want right and so we know that there's people out there that might not do airbrushing and that's perfectly fine but guys this is amazing so not only am i using little makeup still with traditional makeup i'm also not having to pull and 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 all this and oh how cute pygmy goats those are those little ones do you do uh goat yoga <laughs> i think that is so cute um i mean that's what we're comparing it to is airbrush makeup for for the look for the feel for um I mean, just for everything. Yes, it's going to be a traditional makeup, but look how light I'm having to blend this in. I am not struggling. I am not pulling on my face. I am just lightly boop, 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 buffing this around. Um, you could contour with it. Yeah, for sure. But guys, look at that. I do have a little bit around, I mean, like light around my eyes, but come on this is going to give you medium coverage that is buildable but can y'all see the difference or is that uh it is very patricia it is very moisturizing i have to say um it makes your skin feel like butter i'm not lying feel it <laughs> okay i mean i can definitely tell the difference like in the mirror and then on the camera. I mean, it's just, to me, this is just amazing. Little, little bit goes a long way. Again, you can put it on with your finger, but don't do a lot. All right, so now, and again, most of my cover, I'm still getting most of my coverage where I want it because that's where I'm actually starting my cover. You know, right here is where, I like most of my coverage. See, I'm going to have to wipe some of that off because I know that's going to be too much. So I'll just wipe the brush a little bit. Blend that. Because the other thing, what I like about it is the fact that because this brush, because it's a natural hair brush, it's one of those like not synthetic, like a concealer brush. It's the natural hair brush. It will move everything around and blend so I don't feel like I'm wasting any as well I mean I just want to go like I mean look at that and I'm having to wipe some of this off because I didn't need as much oh thank you candy and then the one thing and I've done it both ways um, but you do want to set it with powder. How many times have you heard me say, especially when we do our traditional concealers, I'm like anything that's a cream or anything like that, you definitely want to set with a powder. And so even though it goes on so smooth and so amazing, I'm gonna, and since I did it on my lid, I'm going to lightly powder. Cruelty-free brushes. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. 
Oh, Catherine, you're so sweet. Thank you guys. So powdered this side and normally like you can kind of see how my eye creased a little, but God, I mean, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Guys, think about, you saw how little I put on and it gives you that coverage. I just, so when you need it, because I'm using it for coverage on my eyes, smooth it out. <laughs> Don't do this, <laughs> but smooth it out and stay closed. And then you can do that. And then it all, because if you open your eye again, it's it'll crease again. So when I go to do my eyes, I close my eye, powder, and then you're set. Because powder is setting the makeup. And so that way you won't have creases. And the our this powder and the other one, the loose powder that we have, guys, this is so finely milled. Normally when, when makeup companies go in to mill their powder into boop, 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 they <clears throat> only do it like once or twice. So it's the equivalent of putting like sugar <laughs> on your face. Ours are milled three plus times. And so you're looking at that's like putting flour on your face. And so it's super, super light. So it's not going to settle into wrinkles and crinkles how to prevent. I, yes. So that what I just did, Margo, is what I was telling you. Eye creases. Look down or close your eyes. Boop, 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 boop. If when when doing this, OK, when doing liquid mirage, close your eyes, boop, 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 boop. leave them closed, powder, and that sets it. So when you open your eyes, you won't have the creasing. Now, if you just notice, I took a little bit also under here. Same thing, if you get creases with regular concealer or regular makeup, go in, sorry, I moved everything around. You can go in with a concealer brush looking up. Sometimes like I'll get creases right under here. Look up, straighten them out, and then lightly powder underneath. So you can go in, smooth out the creases, powder immediately, and then you're set. All right. Now let's do, I am going to do some love. And I think, oh, no, because I want to do, what do I want to do? Let's do, can I find apricot? Here we go. Let's do apricot blush. And then I'm going to do, some contouring with Belize. So we're going to mix it all together. So taking Belize and I'm going to focus mainly on that matte side. It's okay if I get a little bit of that shimmer, but I'll focus mainly on the matte side and then contouring. So remember guys, what foundation and concealer does is it camouflages our flaws, hides our flaws, makes you all one color because a lot of a lot of us have you know different tones in our skin. So it's doing what we call making you flat. And so what we're doing with with the color, either eyeshadow, blush, contour, highlight, all of lip, uh, we're giving our face some shape. And so when we go in to use like a blush or a contour, that's why contouring I feel is so important because it does give your face some shape and we can create shape <laughs> that we need. So if you have a rounder face, you can create some cheekbones with the, um, with the contour and highlight. Let's see, is that special powder only to use it? No, Catherine, um, this compact powder, the uh, compact and the loose one, I keep one of these in my purse mainly for the mirror, but like if you do get it shiny during the day, you can, you can use this with airbrush and with um, liquid mirage. It's just a lot of people feel like powder makes them 
like enhances wrinkles and crinkles and you're not going to find that with luminous um you'll actually see that it doesn't do that um let's go ahead and do eyes i'm going to go in with the nude and nolte hello catherine how are you did uh, you heard me answer you right there is a little bit of a delay so if i'm talking let's go in get my brushes all right so i am going to go in and do my crease first and using this is the l two 200 i think it's the blending brush I can't do makeup without this one, guys. This is amazing. So I am going to go in. And I want to do, I want to take you step by step, kind of like move it up. Move it up. So I'm going to go in with a medium to dark. No, let's go in this one. Like a reddish brown, which I'm in love with right now. And... I'm going to do that in my crease. So taking the blending brush, I hit it just like that. And go back and forth. Okay. Now you see how that looks right now? Not too pretty. That's okay. I'm just getting it on. Remember that first that first touch is where most of the makeup goes on. Now I'm going to use the bl the brush and I'm going to blend it. So that's the back and forth movement, like a windshield wiper, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and just boop 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 boop. And I'm what I'm doing is blending and moving the eyeshadow. So it doesn't have any harsh edges working up to the eyebrow. Now, because I put the eye, the liquid mirage on my lid, you can play up with that lid and use that as some of your eyeshadow if you want, because there's a, a big enough contrast there. But if you wanted to go ahead, take it, take it up a notch, I can go in. Um, actually, I think I'm going to go in with... Let's go in with this color. It's kind of a bronzy color. And since we're going to stick with fall, I'm adding it just right on the lid. But outside part, if that makes sense. Is that clear as mud? Just kidding. And then I'm going to go back and forth, back and forth, just right there. And this does have a little bit of shimmer. So I'm just creating a little bit, a little more interest there, a little more oomph. And then now I'm going to take a matte color, neutral matte, and do the inside. Now, whether you, you can do a shimmer, you can do a matte, depending on the look, depending on your eyes. Um, if you have more wrinkles and crinkles on the lid, then I would stay away from shimmers. Shimmers draw attention and matte, mattes do not. So you can, and I feel there's a misconception, people that, are more mature feel like they can't use shimmer and i don't that's not the case it's you can use it you just have to watch where you use it and there we go on the lids so now i'm going to go back and do a little bit more in that crease in case i covered up some of that just to create a little bit more drama and then using a flat, which is in my hand, a flat eyeshadow brush, and I'm using the tip, I'm going to go in and line the bottom. And I'm just using 
that edge right there. Okay. Now, let me show you another trick. Taking my translucent powder, if I have any fallout, which it doesn't look like I do, I can take that brush that I used for powder, put brush, uh, I'm sorry, put powder on it and go whoop, whoop. And what that does is it will fling those little fallouts away. So you don't have to worry if I didn't do a powder guard or if I didn't do my eyes first, then if I have any fallout without messing it up, whoosh, swipe with powder lightly and and you're set. All right. Now, lashes. Oh, no, I'm going to do I think I'll do blush first. I'm going to do the blush and the. Which ones did I bring today? Diva. Okay. So let's do some shake it, shake it, shake it. I'm going to do, this is apricot blush. Great for fall. Remember our, our blush is high pigmented. So two drops is all you need. Mix a drop of your, if you're having trouble with it, do blush first before airbrushing the foundation on or um, mix a drop of your foundation or mix a drop of love. Uh, something like that. You can mix those together and it makes it a little bit easier. Right now, I'm just using the air to cool me down a little bit. And now pulling, I make the movement first. And right, woo, love it. Right on top is the blush. And now... I'm going to take some love. Now, love is what is in one of the items in our starter kit. And that's going to, um, that's the one that's going to give you some luminosity. Some, because um, I don't even like to say shimmer because it's not shimmer. It's just going to do a little bit of luminosity right wherever you put it. So you can mix this in with your airbrush foundation. You can use liquid mirage and then put love all over if you want to um to kind of change the look a little bit so a little bit on the cheeks down the nose and see how it just gives you that nice little ooh, it's like a little oh my favorite word oh just a little something all right, now grabbing the, I'm going to curl my lashes real quick. Just mainly the inside. Because we know those lashes curl on the ends. Grabbing my mirror. Taking the two-in-one smart adhesive. Looking down into my mirror, I'm going to uh, just follow my lash line. right there and make sure you put you know make sure it's on you, you you're using this as glue liner and the it has the magnetic properties in it taking it off my lash now i'm going to do the other side looking down into my mirror Tickling right at those lash lines. Now looking down into a mirror is stretching your eye the way you need it to put on the lash. And now grabbing my little boop, boop, boop worker, the lash. The Diva Lashes has a short end and a... Um, long end so of course the long end is going to go on the outside although we should try it one time put, put it on the inside just to see what it looks like because i think it will look funny 
Cat, oh, Catherine, you'll love them, babe. Catherine on Facebook wants to get these lashes and they're amazing. So line both eyes and then come in and just, just head towards the, um, the line that you created. It, it's just going to go whoop. It'll just grab it. And now making sure that they stick. Boop, boop, boop. Going back, doing the other one. I mean, that's honestly, y'all, that's how easy it is. So I'll go in. And look, I mean, it literally will stick. I'll go back and, I mean, it just, it's drawn obviously to that that line that I'm going to take this one out a little bit because I got too close there. Get on the edge. Um, now you see that I'm coming in. I put them on with these then because I'm so used to using tweezers, I'll go in and make sure they're on. Now the trick is to only get the edge because since these are metal tweezers, there's magnets. So it's going to be kind of drawn to the tweezers. So you have to be careful there, but bam, bam, bam. There you go. But it literally guys is that easy. Literally. Um, they just go on, but they, so line them, psh, psh, lash goes straight there. Now let's go in and do, let's do, Mm, might mix two. Let's do a little bit of Dusty Rose. No, let's do, cherry. I always use Dusty Rose. Y'all know about Dusty Rose. So this is chestnut, right? Yeah. And I can go over right here. Drawing on the outside edge of my lip. So it, it stays looking full. And definitely fill in the lips. Don't leave that real precise line. Make sure they're even. And I'm rubbing them together to make sure that I don't see the lines. Oh, Patricia wants some. Patricia, hold on. I'm going to put them up here right here. Go to Luminous Cosmetics. And... They're, oh, thank you, Candy. Or may, did I do that or no, I did that. Okay, I was like, I just saw Luminous. Um, they're called Lash Lure. Is our, Lash Lure, is our magnetic lashes. And they're Diva. Um, they come in natural Diva and Glam. They have one that has all of them together, which I don't know where that box went. Um, and then you can also buy the one that has all of them together comes with the two-in-one smart adhesive. It comes with the little helper, uh, but then you can also start buying them just as a package, like a one deal. Uh, let me make sure I can stay focused. Hold on. I'm going to stay in focus. Focus, focus, focus. There we go. Okay. So yeah, they're called Lash Lord. They're they are amazing and they stay all day. I wore the ones yesterday all day long. So to finish the lips, I'm smudging that together. You can top it with a, um, um, a lip topper. You can top it with um, the lip jelly, which that's what I'm looking for. And I don't see it. I'm going to go find the lip jelly and put a little bit of the lip jelly in it. But uh, even our lip liners, they're so nice and creamy. They have, again, that staying power. They're going to stay all day. Uh, a lot of times I just use the lip liner as my lips. 
so many times. So there you go. All right. Thank you, Catherine. Catherine likes this look. All right, guys. Well, hey, it has been fun for this Wednesday. I'm like, what day is it? Um, and hey, we do. We come here every every day, Monday through Friday. Um, Candy, I used chestnut lip liner. Um, we are here at 930 every day to walk you through different looks, different products, new products. If you have a question about anything, let us know and we and I'll talk about it. We'll show you how to use it. We'll go through all of the all the products, all over 300 of them. <laughs> so there's a lot to go over. But thank you so much for joining me and I will see you guys next time. Bye for now.